Listen, if Aaron Rodgers is in your camp, it's different. It's New York. It's different. Does the Jets camp, Albert, to you, does it feel different? And if so, why than other camps? It, it does because I think there's a real effort to tamp down all the hype. And I think last year, if you went to their camp, it was a show. Yeah. You know, it, like Hard Knocks is there. I mean, the way the crowd was watching practice was almost game-like. Um, and the players were hyper aware of all of the eyes on them. And I think there's been just a very serious effort there to fly as far under the radar as they possibly can, which is impossible when you're the Jets, when you're in New York, when Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback. But they're doing the best they can to manage the hype better than they did last year. Here's the other thing. They think they're going to be really, really good. There's a quiet confidence in that building that I think built in the spring has spilled over into the summer. And a huge part of that, Colin, like I think, you know, the team where I, where I am right now, like the Bucks, like I think they think they're sort of where the Bucks were in 2020 with Tom Brady. And, and the main reason why, and something a lot of fans don't think about, is how good they are at the lines of scrimmage. They have seven former first round picks playing defensive line for them. So they were good in that area last year. Um, they have a chance to be even better and deeper in that area this year. And what they have that they didn't have last year is a really solid offensive line. They feel like they've got five NFL tackles. They've got Olu Fashanu backing up Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses. They feel good about what they've got in the interior. Um, they almost went overboard in investing on the offensive line. And with that combined with the backfield that they have with Brees Hall and a couple of rookies, Braylon Allen from Wisconsin, who's going to be really good, Isaiah Davis, their fifth-round pick, Part of this is like exactly what Tampa had, which is the Buccaneers didn't need to ask the world of Tom Brady. Now, he gave them the world. He, they didn't need on a week-to-week -week basis to ask the world of him, which I think allowed Tom Brady to be at his very best. And I think the Jets feel like they can do the exact same thing for Aaron Rodgers this year. Okay, exactly. I love that this was just highlighted this way because this is what I've been, you know, trying to say for a long time now. Listen. People keep forgetting just how great Aaron Rodgers is. And everyone wants to keep pointing, he hasn't been great in years. He hasn't been great in years. I get it. But that's also misleading, okay? It's not like he just fell off a cliff and lost the ability. He was injured, okay? He was injured and unhappy in Green Bay. Happens to the best of us. Tom Brady played better in Tampa than he did in, you know, the final year as he um, did with the New England Patriots, okay? Just is what it is. So we can't always just use like a previous year or two as the 100% reality of who they are. Under that logic, Patrick Mahomes is now going downhill. And I guess he's just going to continue to play bad because he didn't have, you know, one of his higher years in his career. So we can just throw that aside. That, that's like, I, I'm like getting so tired of, of hearing that constantly. Um, when you're not asking Aaron Rodgers to do too much, right? He's going to pick you apart. When the defense is legit and he doesn't have to put up 35 points and Aaron Rodgers can just do football 101, he's going to pick you apart. Anytime Aaron Rodgers is comfortable and you're not asking him to do too much, he's going to, say it with me, pick you apart. That's what elite quarterbacks do. That's what Aaron Rodgers can do. It's, it's, I mean, it, it's not any more complicated than that. It's really, really not. You're not asking Aaron Rodgers to go be prime Patrick Mahomes. You didn't even need prime Patrick Mahomes to do all his magic to win the Super Bowl last year because of their elite top defense. And quite frankly, their, you know, the, the Jets offense should be way better than what the Kansas City Chiefs offense was last season. I really believe that. And there's not going to be any resistance from Aaron Rodgers to take that approach either. Because Aaron Rodgers isn't a young 20-something quarterback. He understands. So I think the Jets can be in an amazing situation here. An amazing situation. I do think that they are somewhat more fragile because they do have a lot of these, you know, quote unquote, injury prone players. So it is kind of like a hold your hold your breath type of situation. 
But I think if they can kind of just get lucky on the injury front and not get any, you know, cluster injuries or, of course, a, a major key injury to like, like, obviously, an Aaron Rodgers, then they should absolutely be a top team in the NFL. We know their defense is going to be legit. It has been for years now, and it should be even better. It should be better not only because some of the guys that have made it great in the past are now really entering their prime, not to mention they added pieces as well. They actually know what they're fighting for now. They actually know that they're fighting for a legitimate Super Bowl opportunity. They're getting behind Aaron Rodgers. They know if they keep the score tight, if they don't put up a lot, you know, if they don't give up a lot of points, Aaron Rodgers will be good enough to get the job done. They're not exhausted getting behind a Zach Wilson or whoever else was the quarterback at the time for the last few years. They know that now. And believe me, that is going to fire up the defense. The defense is going to feel amazing about it. It's going to, They're going to be extra motivated when they for, force a turnover and give Aaron Rodgers, you know, the ball at the 40 and Aaron Rodgers marches down and gets a, and gets a touchdown. That's going to fire them up. You know what's really deflating for a defense? forcing a turnover, getting the ball to Zach Wilson, and then Zach Wilson throws an interception. It's like, are you serious? Or he goes three and out. It's like, bro, we just got, we just gave you amazing field goal position, uh, uh, field goal position, field position. And you did, you got nothing for us. It's exhausting. It's deflating. You're not going to have that. So I see this team being so much more unified. And it's just hard for me to see why this team won't be good. That's why I always say, you know, health, because that's the only way that I can really see this team not coming together. It would genuinely shock me if this team can't come together. I think we just forget what Aaron Rodgers can do. And the truth is all Aaron has to prove to be is like a top 10 quarterback right now. And the Jets should be rolling. I mean, they, they should be able to legitimately win some games. And I think they absolutely can win the division. And I think if they get in the playoffs, then it's like, uh, you know, who's going to want to face them? Who's going to want to face that defense? Who's going to want to experience? Who's going to want to face an all-time great Hall of Fame quarterback? So I'm excited. Uh, I really think damage can be done. And I'm excited for the season to start. Right now, I'm feeling like a little stir crazy because we're so close to the season actually starting. And I've personally, and I don't know how you all feel, I've reached a breaking point of talking about like the off season and all these predictions. And now it's just like, well, we're so close. Like, let's just get over the finish line. We're so close. Like, let's just start talking about games that actually matter. Um, so I just, I really can't wait. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Um, do you think that Aaron and the Jets will be elite this season? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.